Hey friends, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be talking about Snitch, a simple but powerful .NET tool that will help you to tidy up your dependencies. So let's take a look. Okay, let's talk about Snitch. Snitch is an open source project from the amazing Patrick Svensson that you may know from Cake and Spectre Console. And this is one more that I really like. Well, so Snitch is a a .NET tool, you can .NET tool install in your computer and will be able to help you on finding transitive package references that can be removed. So what is a transitive package reference? That's, we are talking about transitive dependencies. Okay, so let's take a look into what exactly Snitch will be helping you to do. So imagine that you have a project, project A, and then after a while you reference project B, okay? But that project B has a reference itself to project C. This means that A also has a dependency on project C. And that dependency is named transitive dependency. Okay, So by referencing one dependency that has references, those references from project B become transitive dependencies on project A. That means that you no longer need to reference directly project C. And Snitch will help you out to understand these transitive dependencies that you can remove, okay? Besides that, it will be able to take a look into, into those and realize things like this. Imagine that project A is not depending on project C directly, but on project C v2. So it will not only be able to spot that you have a project dependency on C, but also that there's a mismatch on version it. So it's all those kind of things that you'll help you to do. Let's see it in action. So imagine that you have a solution with two simple projects, and in these two projects, they are basically class libraries completely empty. You can see on the CS project that there's no dependencies at all for project A and B. And now I will install a NuGet package on both of them. Okay, can be first of the list, obviously is Newtonsoft. Let's install, for example, 12.03 in both of them. And it's installed. Everything is fine. They are independent of each other. Perfect. Now someone needs a, a method that is exposed on uh, project B on project A, and they add a reference to project B. What will happen now is that project A has a dependency on Newtonsoft, directly, but also through project B. So if you go to your terminal, you just run snitch after having the .NET tool installed, and snitch will analyze your solution, and for each project, we'll look into the dependencies that they have. And now snitch is telling me that project A as a dependency on newtonsoft.json that can be removed because it's already referenced on project B. Perfect. Let's look into the, that obvious scenario that I didn't use Snitch, so I didn't spot that thing, didn't notice that I have the same uh, reference on both of them. And I'm addressing a bug on uh, Project A. And on that investigation, I realized that it's a, a problem with this version of Newtonsoft. So I will upgrade it to the 13 on Project A. Now, I get into the worst place where I have one version for project A and a version for project B. So besides the dependencies that I didn't need to have there, now I have multiple versions and this can lead to a lot of strange things happening. I've seen many of them in my career. So if you go to the terminal again, let's go there and let's run snitch again. What we'll see is that after analyzing the dependencies, we'll have not only something saying that, okay, you might be able to remove it from A, it is saying that there's a mismatch between versions, okay? So in B, we have the 1203, but in the reality, we are using the 13.1 in Project A. So what we want to do on this case, okay, maybe what you should be doing on that case is through your solutions, you will upgrade it to in project B. 
you will keep having that transitive dependency that you can remove. So if you run again on, on snitch, what you will have is saying, okay, please remove it from A because it's a transitive dependency. And now let's remove it from A. After we remove from A, let's go back to snitch, run it again. And this time, I hope that we see that there's no issue at all. So snitch is basically this, but it's really powerful, especially when you have a solution that has been living for a long time and that you have been adding references along the time, adding new get packages, maintaining those packages. You will notice that if you run snitch on those solutions, you will find a lot of things that you can remove and you can adjust. I bet that you have seen strange things with duplicate dependencies in your projects and usually they are really painful to solve. I hope this was useful. Please go to the snitch repository, leave a start. It's really important for the maintainers and give it a try. Install it in your machine, go to a solution that you have been working on for the past one, two, 10 years and run snitch. And you will see a lot of things that you didn't notice at all. Okay, so I hope that you like it. I will see you soon, and in the meanwhile, just keep things simple.